Happy Tuesday! I am here with some Tuesday tips and today I am talking about habits. Um, specifically, I just got done reading this fabulous book. I wanted to show it to you in case anybody wants, looking for something good to read. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear and it is a great book. It really just talks about habits in our life, how we form them, and what I love most about it is it really makes it super simple. Like when you read it, you're like, oh, I could do that. It gives you quick, actionable things where you can add positive habits into your life. I want to talk today about something that James calls habit stacking. When I was reading about it, I was like, oh, I, I teach that to my clients all the time. I didn't really realize it had a name. Um, so habit stacking is this idea when you want to add something into your life, you want to create a new habit. One of the best ways to do it is to stack it with a habit that you already have. So something in your life that you do on a regular basis without thinking about it, it's pretty unconscious, um, happens on the regular, you add your new habit to that and it's a really easy way to make it part of your life. I wanna give you an example that I used recently um, so you can know what I'm talking about. So I have a client who, she, um, we discovered that she just feels better when she does some stretches for her legs and hips on a daily basis, right? She really needs to do them on a daily basis, otherwise she just gets achy and just doesn't feel good, but some simple stretches. We're talking like two, three minutes of some stretches makes a huge difference for her. So we were talking through like, okay, when could you do this? Because you gotta make it a habit, you gotta add it into your life. And what we discovered is one thing she does every day is she takes her dog out for a nice long walk. And I said, okay, when you come back from your walk, what do you do? And she kind of walked me through her process and she's like, well, you know, I come back with the dog, I sit down on the chair, I take my shoes off and I was like, oh, right there. Like, could you at that moment, when you sit to take your shoes off, could we add two minutes at the most of some stretches? And she's like, oh yeah, that seems like something pretty doable. So we started, or, or she started, um, basically she would sit down, take her shoes off, and then she would do a figure four stretch and just hold it. And I was like, don't worry about time, just do, just, you just gotta do it. 30 seconds, you know, is plenty. If you wanna do a little longer, great, on each leg. I showed her how in the chair she could lean forward and just stretch the backs of her legs or toes back toward us, toward her, and get a little stretch. And she started doing that on a, on, a, on a daily basis. And guess what? It was pretty easy for her to incorporate because she was already doing the other habit. She already, you know, had this habit of like, I walk the dog, I come home, I sit, I take my shoes off. So super easy. And it, what I love about it, it's so simple yet it made such a difference. It's helping her feel better in her life. So I just, I want to just throw that idea out there to you because I don't think a lot of people think about their exercise and movement time in, in terms of it being a habit and how you can create it as a regular thing in your life. So if there's something, and this could be like, I just need to roll my feet on that little ball. It really helps me. Right? It's so simple, but I can't figure out how to help myself do it every day. Figure out a time or something that you do on a daily, and, and that's your time. Um, brushing your teeth is a great one, right? It's a good just example. Um, I always got to brush my teeth, so I know when I go brush my teeth, I'm just going to keep the little ball that I rolled my foot out right there in my bathroom. So as I'm brushing my teeth, I'm rolling out my feet. Um, for my people that like to work on balance, that's I often recommend, like while you're brushing your teeth, stand on one foot, right? Um, easy things like that, or like right before I go to bed, that kind of thing. So my challenge for you today is just like thinking about your day and if there is something that you just kind of know your body needs, or how about um, tightness in those shoulders and neck? Um, even something as simple as putting a ball behind your back and rolling out those muscles can make a huge difference, but oftentimes we just forget about it and don't do it. When could you do it on a regular basis? All right, that's my Tuesday tip today. Look at your habits and see when you can add little bits of movement time into your life. If you're already doing this, I would love to hear about it. If you have something that you've kind of incorporated in, maybe 
you like me, you didn't even know there was a name for this, but you were doing it, I would love to hear about it. Or maybe just listening today, you heard something and you're like, oh, I have been meaning to have this and I'm gonna try this. Tell me about it in the comments below. All right, have a great day.